time for the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It is now time for the Highland Pledge. I am a smart, special, valuable leader. I respect myself and I respect others. My words and actions are kind and honest. I accept only my best in all I do. My leadership is what you'll see. I am proud to be me. Hey, 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 Hornets! I'm Addie. And I'm Macy. Today is Tuesday, March 26th. Today is a day four. Today is National American Diabetes Association Alert Day. What does that mean? Think about it to go get tested to see if they have diabetes. My choices for today are choice one, cheesy, cheesy grilled cheese. And choice two, hot dog. Mm. Make sure to make your choices and any extras. The birthdays for today are April Ash, Tita Maldron, and Bo May. Come down and get your birthday dog tags. I've got a joke for you. When do you go at red and stop at green? I don't know. When do you go at red and stop at green? When eating a watermelon. <laughs> the Horner who rolls for today are... The following people have been hired for recycling. Nolan Basham, Alex Wilcox, Braden Ebling, and Gabe Howell. Ethan Birch has passed rocket math subtraction. Great job. Come down and get your Hornet hurrahs. The word of the month is individuality. Discovering out who you are meant to be so you can make a difference. Weather for today is a high of 54 and a low of 29. It's going to be sunny. Now time for Miss McCain. Leaders in the Workplace Day. We're super excited. It's so fun. In the afternoon, we get to go to all these different little classes that we've signed up for, second through fifth graders. K and one has an exciting rotation of fun coming. I don't know. I heard that there may be even be a Chick-fil-A cow in the house. Miss Peebler. I love the Chick-fil-A cow in the I, I house. Do. I do too. Come on All in. All kinds of cool stuff going on today. It's going to be an awesome day. It's going to be an awesome and day. And so a couple of reminders. We, we were just informed that our lunch choices were slightly wrong, so please make sure and check with your teacher. We do have sack lunches today, and it's a great way for me to remind you that if you are in kindergarten, you guys will be going to your normal lunch spot, but all the rest is in a lunch uh schedule out on Friday. We are going to rotate you in as fast as we can and get you back to your classroom to eat. So don't come don't come down. You're going to get a phone call that says please come to lunch. We're going to start promptly as soon as kindergarten gets through. So we'll probably start right around 1055 calling people down and we'll begin with first grade. Okay? Teachers, right. thanks for your flexibility on that. It's going to make for a great afternoon. Miss Peebler, let's touch on um, our manners and just how we are behaving when there's guests in the building. I think it's a great thing to talk about first thing this morning. You know, when people come and visit the classroom, especially from the community, it gives us an opportunity. It gives us a chance for people to know who we are here at Highland. And we've talked a whole lot about expectations in assemblies when we have visitors. Those expectations don't change just because the person comes to your classroom. And so I'm sure your teachers are going to take a little time this morning to remind you that when someone is presenting information to you, our eyes are always on a speaker, our mouth is always closed. It's important for us to be listening to the information that they're giving us, and that's what makes us a great audience member. And so I know that all the Highland Hornets here today are going to do that because Ms. McCain's worked so hard to bring so many Everybody's people in. Hard from the community this might be your moment this might be your moment when you go to somewhere and you think you know i think i could do that for a living that sounds like fun it was funny because on the news several weeks ago miss tingle even called me and she said there was a highland kid on the radio that said i am here today because of an experience I had at Highland. Well, there you go. So it happens, and so it just gets your mind going about all the opportunities that are out there. On the bottom of your Leaders in the Workplace <laughs> schedule, this is for second through fifth, there are some questions at the bottom um, just to get your mind going about some things that we can ask our speakers. So, you know, if there's some downtime at the end, you know, take a look at those questions, and maybe you could use one of those to ask something that might get that speaker going a little bit. Um, I don't think there'll be a whole lot of downtime. Well, and let's never flip know. the switch a little bit. Let's say you made a selection and you went to a particular one, and it's really not something that you're feeling interested in when you start. 
This is your opportunity to practice what we've been talking about for the past two weeks, which is being present and being in the moment. And sometimes we have to find ways when things are not really what we want to listen to, or maybe it was something we thought it was going to be one thing and then it's another, that we have to find ourselves and figure out a way to still be respectful to the people who are willing to take time out of their day to come and talk to us. So that means everybody in the building is going to be doing that, right? Very good. Absolutely. The yep. only change that I know of today, and teachers, if you will make note of this, all teachers stop for a second, second through fifth. If your student's schedule has stare it on it, okay, we are not meeting out front. We are meeting in Miss Quinton's room, okay? So after the hospitality sort of breaks down, we're going to have stare it in Quinton's room. So please make note of that on all schedules. Students, if you know you're going to stare it, make a mental note. Oh, yeah, that's in Miss Quinton's room. Be ready for more changes if somebody you know, doesn't make it here, which that happens, we'll get you to a session that you don't already have on your schedule. It's going to be a great day. It is going to be a great day. Thanks, girls. I think we have some other visitors, too, coming on. Is that right? Yes, Who we else do. Who we have? Miss um, Daly. I, it's me. It's me. Um, the 4-H crew has been working on a project, and I know we have tons of projects at Highland. Um, we've had from the very beginning of school where we helped the animal shelter and then the pasta and the bulware center and just recently the troops and so we're gonna keep going and I hope this there's no need for all of us to do this but if you have in fact I'm not gonna give it away I'm gonna have these two girls tell you about the project. Hello my name is Addie Kate and I'm Hannah. We are here to talk about a new project called Koala Color Cycle. This program is amazing and keeps these markers out of landfill. Fun fact, since 2014 in the U.S. and Canada, 70 tons of used old markers have been used to make new <coughs> to move shingles and green electricity. This electricity can be used to heat homes, cook food, and power vehicles. At Highland, we will be participating in this program. The drop-off box will be located in the library for your, you to plant the markers. Highlighters and dry erase markers are, and even non-crayola brands are okay. No color pencils or crowns, thought, though let's help keep Tons of plastic out of landfills. Don't throw out that used marker. Color cycle it. <coughs> Thank you for listening. Bye, Hornets. Uh, you can put um, Jet Sharpies or other things in it. Okay, so this is going to be in the library. Okay, going to be in the library. Any kind of marker. Expos. Miss McCain, I heard you have lots of expos that don't work. They're dry. Yeah. Just They're have, dried I, out. I, but I can't throw them away because I don't have new ones, but I will. Okay. Well, you don't have to throw them away. I'm going to recycle them. Yeah, she's going to she's gonna color cycle them. Recycle. She gonna, she's going to put them in here okay. in the library. Thank you. We have a horn of who are all to Bree. Bree Graves from Miss Cameron. Bree has passed all of, Mar all of Rock and Math. We have one to Grace and Roberts from Miss Cameron. He has also passed all rocket math. Very good. All right, so we're going to leave you today with a mindfulness video about kids explaining what it's like. And if you remember, Winston was with us one day last week when he talked a little bit about being mindful and practicing those things. So we're going to leave you with that video. Today's going to be an awesome day. Keep your spirits up and be ready. Here we go, Daniel. Would you head our, head our video, please? Sound. Mindfulness um, helps you keep calm and relaxed when you are in times when you are angry or frustrated. You learn from mindfulness so you can help yourself calm down. The red zone is when you tense. My heart starts to beat fast and then I scrunch up my fist and also my face. The blood might be swishing around like a big wave coming over the ocean. You can walk away, tell the teacher or boys where you can smile. Pimmies. 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 PBS stands for pause, marine and smile. Everything's moving the way it's supposed to.
be your hearts at a good rate. When you smile and just be happy, it's where you're happy, you're never nervous, and you'll make friends. You kind of just like smell and like feel what it what it's like, and then you just like look at it and then you eat it. Now the real juice. Mindfulness makes me a better friend and sister. Before I didn't notice if people were feeling sad or lonely, but after I learned mindfulness, I noticed and I wanted to help. Sometimes my brain is like a snow globe when you shake it up. It's stormy and wild, and I can't see things properly. Mindfulness helps me to calm down so I can see all the different snowflakes and understand what's happening in my mind. Sometimes I lie in bed and I can't go to sleep because I'm worried about not getting high scores on my test. Pause, breathe and smile make me feel a lot calmer and it will just help me fall asleep. There's lots of fun neurons in your brain and your heart is actually connected to your brain. When you feel happy, you have a happy heart. Mindfulness gives you that happy heart. gentlemen so today I want you to leave with two things she said when you are feeling happy and practicing mindfulness it makes you have a happy heart and he also talked about PBS do you remember what the P standard for what was it pause pause so stop we've talked about that taking our pause button and really taking a moment especially if we feel that frustration or anger or ugh, whatever it is coming up in you adults you've had it kids you've had it so we pause first what's the B breathe. breathe and it gives us that chance to breathe really deep let's do one of those real quick we're gonna breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth you can close your eyes if you want to in through your nose and out through your mouth and the last one was an S. And what does that stand for? Smile. Smile. So we're going to leave you with a smile today. Have a great day, everybody. And See ya. Internet may be down.